As a business owner in Kihei, I don't feel like I'm going to get any help from the government. So many people have left the island already. I keep seeing posts say I need to sell my car to survive. It's kind of like the fire is still kind of, you know, smoldering because it's taking other things down with it. The constant refrain that we've been hearing from people around the island of Maui, especially in cities like Kihei, is the terrible fear over the loss of tourism and other kinds of business that are necessary to sustain life here on the island. Local businesses are hosting all kinds of food drives. They're hosting clothing drives, toy drives, anything that they can do, digging into their own pockets and now non-existent profits of any sort just to help local Maui individuals who are affected by these horrible wildfires. All of the money on the island is currently streaming into Lahaina, even at the expense these individuals knowing that they are likely not going to stay in business after Governor Green, after celebrities like Jason Momoa got up after the initial tragedy and told people do not come to the island. The real opinion of many of the business owners and those employed on the island is completely different. We've heard is that people desperately want mainlanders and others to still come to Maui, be respectful of Lahaina, but still pour in their patronage to this area to keep things going. The west side of the island, I mean, how horrible and the sadness that's going on there and the grieving and the rebuilding that needs to be done. But in order for us to be able to help support what they're going through, it's going to be difficult if, if, if we're in a position where most of our employees are unemployment and we're struggling as well. I mean, everyone here depends on the tourism industry. It's, 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 it's a fact, and, you know, and it's not one that some people may like. The guy who comes fix my air condition is dependent on me feeding tourists right. uh, you know, and that's so it's a huge thing um, I mean my friend's restaurant he's he's had to lay off 70% of his people already because Packwell boats that's gone so without people coming here it's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better